You have to get in the picture, oh. don't you? <laughs> oh, I suppose I could point it at you. Oh. Hi, guys. Hey, everyone. I'm, I'm letting you uh, oh. do a little intro, I'm guessing. I am Heather, Arsenal Manager here at Go Media. I um, don't know who I uh, Bill, are. Bill, uh, President here at Go Media. We're going to be doing a little Facebook Live here about how you know it's time for a new logo. And we are just going to wait to see if anyone joins us here. If not, we'll just proceed. We oh, have someone all watching. Right. Woo -hoo! There's two. Two people. <laughs> Very good. If you have any questions, you can start to comment here. Otherwise, no, no, it just no disappeared. Watching. They left. <laughs> they saw one look at me and they're like, yeah. they're like, yeah. no, no they're good. Like, yeah, we don't, we don't want to, hmm. we don't want to see that, which okay. is fine. We're not going to take it personally. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just blast through it then. And okay. if you want to join, great. If not, you can post it and it'll be good. Okay. Um, do you ever to edit these down then post or do they just go up like this? They go up. Okay. Great. Well, let me get right into it then. Uh, the question was, when do you know it's time? Uh, you should need to stay here. I, th I think okay. it's, it lo looks better with the two of us. Um, uh, you even out my bad looks. Um, so the question is, you know, when is it time to rebrand your company, to design a new logo or to just overhaul your stuff? And uh, this is actually a very complicated question. Uh, you know, anytime a client comes to us and asks if you know, they want us to rebrand their company. Certainly a question that comes out right away is, you know, why do you want to rebrand your company? There's many reasons. The, the branding, the initial branding could just be bad. And so, you know, you have to, um, you just realize that the branding was done poorly. And so you want to just overhaul it so that it looks better. Um, sometimes if a company has a bad reputation, Rebranding will kind of distance yourself from that negative history of the company. Uh, you know, at least locally here in Cleveland, there was a company called Time Warner Cable, had a horrible reputation, and uh, they decided to rebrand and call themselves Spectrum. And their whole goal there, I think, was to distance themselves from all the negative publicity around who they used to be. Um, uh, sometimes, you know, a company's got really great branding, but it's just old. Um, uh, and then sometime in the near past, they redesigned it and it looked worse. So we sometimes want to try and walk them back to their previous branding. Um, sometimes, um, there's elements of someone's brand that looks really good. Like maybe they've got a really nice mark, but maybe the type treatment feels a little dated because the font that was used, um, is just, you know, something from the seventies or eighties. Um, and, um, yeah, so there's, there's lots of things to consider with branding. So, you know, also, when you're going to rebrand, you may incur a lot of costs because if you've got trucks and letterheads and websites and all your marketing materials and signage on your building, these are all things that are also going to be up, need to be updated. Um, also, if you have an existing brand that people recognize, there may need to be a little transition period there where you're showing both your old brand and your new brand. And certainly if you're gonna do a rebrand, you need to make sure that you send out notifications to make every one of your customers aware that you're gonna be doing a rebrand so they're not confused or think you've gone out of business so that when they see the new branding that they know that it's you. So, you know, what are, the, what are some key triggers? What are some good quality key triggers to actually do a rebrand? Well, certainly um, if you have a poor brand and you feel like the company is making a bunch of strides to sort of retool the company and you want to kind of relaunch the company and show everyone that, hey, you know, we're back on the scene, we're making improvements to the company and we want the brand to reflect our improvements to the company, that's a good time to do a rebrand. Uh, time not to do a good rebrand is what I call brand boredom. A lot of business owners, you know, they're staring at their own brand all the time and they just get bored with it. And so they just want to see something new just because, you know, they're bored. Um, that's usually a bad reason to rebrand your company. Uh, business owners need to remember that their clients are not seeing the company's brand every single day. They're only seeing the brand maybe once every three months, six months, year, and so brand consistency is critical. Uh, another thing to consider is, 
maybe your mark and your logo and your color schemes are okay, but maybe it's just all the collateral material and your website that are really bad. So sometimes when you think about refreshing the brand, it might not even be that we're gonna touch the core brand elements. It's just gonna be that the way that the entire company and how you present yourself through your collateral, through your touch points with your clients, through your website are gonna get an overhaul. And once we do that, you know, all of a sudden those, those brand elements start to look pretty good. Um, what else? What else did we talk about yesterday? If the logo and branding is just straight up terrible, do you, do you start from scratch? Yeah, I mean, if, if, the, if the elements that are there are horrible, you know, there may not be anything there to salvage. Maybe the color scheme, but even that could be bad. So, um, so yeah, I think sometimes you just got to blow it up and start over. And then how do they communicate that to their, their customers or clients when you've just completely scrapped it and they're starting? So, you know, obviously you want to, you want to, you know, send out some sort of notification. You want to, you know, you can push, push out a press release. You can have a banner on your homepage that basically on your website that basically says like, here was our former, you know, company brand. Here's our new company brand. Um, don't be confused. This is still us. You're going to get the wonderful quality service that you always got, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not an easy transition ever. You know, there's typically, you know, it takes usually up to two years to make sure that all of your customers are aware of the uh, brand transition that's taking place. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions about, you know, the whole concept of rebranding a company or um, the transition that takes place or just anything on that topic? <laughs> Do you have any other questions? I don't think so. Okay. That was a good... All right. Well, you know, just to recap, you know, like, just don't... If anyone's thinking about rebranding or if you're meeting with a client that's asking to rebrand... You know, while you want to sell design services, it's really good to sort of try and drill in and figure out why exactly the client is rebranding. And then, oh, I remember one thing we talked about yesterday is just, you know, looking back, I think it's a really great idea to try and go back in time as far as possible and look at every, every single thing that a company has done in their branding and... Um, try and mine some good stuff there because sometimes a company's got some really great gems in their old marketing materials in their old branding and um, you can carry that into the new rebrand into the rebrand and um, so yeah that's it good job bill <laughs> thanks everyone see you later <laughs>